Um, one of the best ways to know if you have the chops for a tech career is to judge your own ability to do math. And I have a story about this. Uh, maths, you know, maths. The story is about math. Um, pretty much everybody has to do math at some point. Uh, in, in every career and culture, I'm sorry, in every uh, country and culture, learning math is a core part of of the educational curriculum, no matter what, no matter where you are. And my, the story goes like this. So my, uh, my son and I, who was helping me do some teaching, went on to teach at a private school and some other things. Um, we were struggling because while we were at Skillstack, we noticed that there were some people in the same group, actually, same age, that were really able to pick up computer programming. They had no problem with it. And there were others that looked at us like with really blank stares. And, and it was, it was kind of interesting. In fact, I, you know, I called the learning lab skill stack was kind of a learning lab and they, yeah, they're talking about the passion thing from the other video. That's cool too. So anyway, we were, you know, we were like all the, all the people had the same level of intelligence. They had the same, uh, passion. I mean, they'd all been more or less vetted before they were allowed to come in to some degree. And, and we were still struggling to figure out, you know, so we were, I can't remember, we were talking, but we were trying to figure out why, what was so different. And in fact, we started asking, um, there were a couple of outliers in the group who were so beyond uh, everybody else. Their, their pace at which they could pick up, specifically programming, coding, was so much faster than than some of the other ones. And we're like, what is different? What is distinguishing these people? And it was a very unscientific process, but we I started just asking them. I had a really great relationship with all of them, obviously. And I was I, I remember one in particular, I asked him, I said, yo, um, I said, you know, Tim, how did how did you pick up computer programming so quickly when you were young? I mean, you were here when you were like nine or ten years old. I mean, you were really, really young. And and how did you I mean, what, and, and he's like, I don't know. I just, I just did it. And I said, and I, so I kept peppering him. I was like, well, what, what else did you do? I mean, and, and so anyway, back to the, the part where my son and I are talking with each other and we started presenting a hypothesis that, that it was math. And we were saying, okay, it's not age related because we have people that are really young that are kicking butt against people that are much older. And, you know, but so could it be that there's some kind of math exposure that's different or something? And we, we already knew that, I mean, the hypothesis was that math, because it teaches functions, you know, f of x equals 2x plus 1, um, that, that it is, you know, computer, computer science in, in, in a very real way is a sub-science of mathematics. I mean, that, that is just true. And the higher up you get in it, I mean, in terms of like understanding how computers work, the more you understand you're just dealing with math at a very, uh, at a very high level. And um, so, so I started asking, and, and uh, yeah, comp computer science is applied math, right? And so, you know, the, the the premise of learning how to think logically, like learn, learning learning how a math works, like putting a thing in and getting something out of it. The concept of a function, very specifically, that was the, the, the data point that we were using to assess uh, who knew what, you know. And that was also the thing that people would look at us like we had nine heads. I remember even trying to teach things like Blockly or Scratch to, to beginners. They were like, you know, they, they couldn't, if they hadn't had algebra or even pre-algebra, they couldn't get it in their head that there's this idea of putting some data in a number or whatever, and then the machine, it would come out on the other side. And so I, I asked, I asked, you know, this, this member directly, I was like, how did, did you learn math early? Uh, I mean, at what level of math are you in now? He goes, Oh, I'm just an algebra now. I was like, yeah, but did you know it already? He goes, yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? And he said, well, I, I learned it myself. I'm like what? It's like, yeah, I, I always want to learn it. So I learned it when I was like 10 or something. So he had gone on this internet, on the internet, and I don't even remember how, 
and he taught himself algebra before he ever even have an algebra class in school, which I could get down a whole rabbit hole about why formalized education for the masses is totally screwed up because it doesn't keep up with the pace of the people. This, this person had taught themselves algebra. By the time they were in algebra, they were totally bored, which is probably the, one of the reasons I saw them. I saw a lot of people who were bored by the, by the formal education system. And they would come to me and we would challenge them. We'd you know, push them on in their way. But the takeaway is that math was the distinguishing feature. So the, the people that were able to just really rock with, with, with Python functions and procedures and stuff, they had had a, a certain amount of algebra. So when you said, oh, you're putting a thing in and you're getting something out, right? And again, the malleability of young age brains, absolutely, totally down with that. Uh, and whether it's because they want to get good with Minecraft and running their own servers or whatever, they learn so much more. In fact, I think there's like a really magical age uh, between between 10 and uh, 14, pretty much where the especially for men where the, or, you know the hormones start to kick in and other distractions come up. They have the brain capacity to kind of really con understand all of this. They're also picking up math. That if you are trying to decide, uh, you have a young person in your life, then you're trying to decide how to get them into this stuff. That is a really prime age between like ten and ten and fourteen or so to really, really just go on the on the coding kind of things uh, and those activities because they they will still be interesting to them and they're going to discover like you know cars and sports and girls and stuff like that and. You know, it's, it's it, th from my experience, it's much harder. In fact, people, <laughs> a lot of times they would, they would leave and then they would come back, uh, after they would come back at like 19. I remember, uh, I had some, some, I had some people come back literally, uh, after college, um, uh, because, because of the situations that were happening there. Um, anyway, uh, coming to yourself today. I am wit. Uh, we're in the middle of making videos today. So wit, thank you for the invitation. And that, that is all for today for that video. So the video is, if you're good at math, you're probably going to be a good programmer. That's one factor.